Tomorrow they'll be up against uh, Chung and Lee, who beat uh, their fellow Malaysians Lin and Tazari. So it's not a normal Malaysian affair in the final, but the Danes, Simon Archer, safely through. And it didn't look as if they were going to get there after the, the first few no, points. That, no, their experience certainly came through there. They were 14-5 down in the first game, really under the cosh. And uh, Abdul and Gan really couldn't get over that final final mark in that first game. And, and it cost them, because after, the, after losing... A game like that, when, you, when you've been in such control, it's really difficult then to come back in the next game and, and try and impose yourself. And uh, Ericsson and Lungard were superb once they came back at them. Yeah, it should be uh, a fun to look forward to that one in the men's doubles so tomorrow. Like I said earlier, uh, the games at the All England Championships uh, come thick and fast. Joe Davis, the next uh, match features uh, the best player in the world in the men's singles, Lin Dan. They're already on court warming up just a few minutes away. And uh, up against Lee Chong Wei, uh, Lin Dan seems to have played himself into a bit of form over the course of this tournament. He has. He had a good uh, quarter final last night with Kenneth Yonson and beat him fairly comfortably in two sets. And his uh, opponent today um, beat. Chen Hong, Chinese Chinese player, good player, beat him in three sets, took quite a long time, 70 minutes, so uh, I think Lin Dan will be coming through this fairly comfortably today. Simon, what do you, what do you think of this one? You see Lin Dan being challenged at all? Well, Lin Dan is world number one, but um, my tip for the tournament was Lee Chung Wei at the beginning of the week. I'm going to have to uh, say something different to Joe here. What a but, surprise. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, you got the last one right. You said the Danes were going to win and they did. Yeah, well, I was lucky really because uh, with the Malaysians <laughs> sort of stumbling, but uh, this should be a great match. I mean, they're both quick players and I think the uh, winner of the tournament will come out of this match. Well, there you go. We'll see, won't we? We'll bring it back to haunt you if it doesn't happen like that, of course. Let's head back to Birmingham and rejoin Darren and Gillian. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lee Chong Wei, Malaysia. Lee Chong Wei being introduced to the crowd by the umpire. Lin Dan, China. And Lin Dan, very popular with the crowd here in Birmingham. So the Malaysian in the red shirt nearest to us. Straight away, Lin Dan onto the net early. Outright winning, cross court net shot. Good disguise on the drop shot from Liu Chong Wei. Yeah, good movement for him. Could have took the back end, went round the head. Still in balance. Semi finalist last year, Lee Chong Wei. Lost to Chen Hong, who went on to take the title. And got revenge in yesterday's quarter final match. Yeah, good play from Lee. But again, it comes from taking Lindan on at the net. Oh, straight down the line. Yeah, and it's not giving him time, it's straight into the match. Every opportunity put in a pressure onto Lindan. Yeah, good deception from Lindan. And when it's up like that, there's only going to be one result. Darren, the fact that Lin Dan has taken four hours, 43 minutes to get through his four previous matches, is that physically going to have uh, an effect on him for today's semi-final? It could do, Jill, but it, it just seems to me his, his quarter-finals... And his third round, he just seemed to knuckle down that little bit more and get better as the matches get harder. 
and um, he, he seems, you know, he focuses more. He doesn't go on little spurts where he's not concentrating. And yesterday against Kennett, you know, he played an awesome game. Champion two years ago, Lindan, beaten finalist last year, losing out to Chen Hong. Ten, three. Apologising for the net cord. Five titles in Dan one last year. And reached three other finals as well, beaten in three other finals. So eight finals in total. It's no wonder he's world number one. He got the lift he wanted. Went for the gap. The smash. Now Lindan's backhand just pulled it wide. Lee Chong Wei, certainly a player in form coming into this tournament. Two weeks ago, he won the Swiss Open, beating Charles Schwanzer, the 2003 world champion, in the final. And when I say beat him, 15 8, 15 love. And the speed with which he was playing in Switzerland was quite extraordinary. And that's the thing about the Malaysian. To me, he never looks that spectacular, but what he does, he does exceptionally well. Yeah, absolutely. When you look at him, it, you don't realise how fast he's moving. His speed of shot in the way he moves his opponent around is, is very good. Just wide. Yeah, he dug himself out of trouble there. Great retrieving. Got back in the rally. Well, you cannot afford to hit the shuttle short against Lindan. Here yeah, the cross court clear, not high enough or deep enough. Severely punished by Lindan. Yeah, great flick. So used to him just coming in, blocking the net shot. This time holds. Flicks Lee. Great accuracy. Plum on the line. Lee Chong Wei, bronze medal at the World Championships last year in Anaheim. Lost to Taufik Hidayat of Indonesia. Went on to take the gold medal. If you're wondering why Taufik Hidayat is not here at the All England Championships, he's getting married. Therefore, this didn't fit into his programme. But I'm sure he'll be back next year. It's the only major title he hasn't won.
Well, great retrieving initially from Lindan. Yeah, he dived the full length to get a drop shot back. Just got a little bit carried away with a rally. interesting the number of winning shots that Lindan has directed down his opponent's backhand all six of them and far more winners altogether twice as many in fact Oh, wonderful play and control at the net from Lee Chong Wei. Yeah, great spinning net shot from him. Lin Dan doing well to even get it back over the net, but very cool and casual from Lee. Yeah, it's the injection of pace, isn't it, Darren? I mean, he calmly plays the rally and then suddenly moves quicker to the shuttle yeah he just explodes into action he sometimes you know he's four points where he just hits him, his opponent around moving about and all of a sudden four points where he'll just be like lightning Oh, it's such a good rally. They're very fast paced. Both players moving around. In the end, it's the shot to the backhand side of the lead that produces a winner for Lindan. Some unbelievable backhand defence there from Lee Chong Wei. 
that was the one. How he managed to whip that across court, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he surprised Lindan. judgment shuffled us along of that back line sensational seemed to be out of position pushed to all four corners of the court and then Lin Dan produces a shot like that yeah it's frustrating for Lee because it really was dictating that rally making Lin Dan work so hard and all of a sudden out the blue he hits a winner showing the court attendant where the problem was for clever at the net but Lindan wasn't fooled at all no superb spinning that shot there we see it from Lindan he tries a deceptive return Lindan straight on top of it I can't believe the call. Yeah, that was plum on the line. Great call by the line judge. No doubt that time. Good movement from Lee. Nice purpose to the rally. Good smash down the forehand side. Just moves straight into the net at pace. Anticipating Lindan's return. Smash. 
Yeah, it's so clever play because he's been hitting his smashes onto the backhand defence of Lee, but that time swishes it straight into the body. You could see Lee just moving over to the backhand side. Dan seems to have this ability to know when to pile on the pressure and when to just up his game. Yeah, you can, you can just see it in his play. just seems to just go that extra gear at the vital moments. Yeah, exactly like that. The injection of pace and suddenly... You know, he can be so patient, but working his opposition still so hard, but all of a sudden... and annoyed at himself for missing that one. Seven, yeah, frustrated. It's normally a bread and butter shot for him. Onto his racket, he guides that across so superbly. Landed in. And the umpire, Chris Taylor, just saying to Lee Chong Wei, don't try and influence the line judge. Let him make his own decision. more yeah unbelievable angle both players doing some great attacking but in the end it's just that little bit extra from Lindan so now game points for the world number one Converts the first time of asking. Lin Dan, the left-hander in superb form, taking the opening game, 15-9. First game won by Lin Dan, 15. It's only a car. A car is a car is a car with nuts and bolts and leather and cogs, and steel, and wood, and glass, intelligent wipers, and head-up displays, alloy and oil, sensors, 
that sound. Digital mapping and satellite tracking. Twists and turns and smiles and miles. Infrared eyes and self-trying brakes and one little key. A car. It's only a car. Twenty-three minutes for that opening game as we look at the winning shots from Lin Dan. Sixteen of them aimed towards the Malaysians' backhand side. And that really is extraordinary. Darren, you picked up on that very early on, that there was perhaps a weakness with the Malaysian on his backhand defence. Yeah, he just seemed to be covering his forehand a little bit more. But Lin Dan, very clever. Many of his winners down there, but when he needed to, he changed the angle, went at the body of Lee. He just seems a very controlled player at the moment in Lin Dan. Just wide. I suppose the other thing we can draw from that stat is the fact that Lee Chong Wei doesn't actually play that many winners. He, he waits for his opponent or forces his opponent to make an error. That's right. He, he, he normally grinds down his opponent, very physical, but with, when you're playing against someone like Lin Dan, as the rallies go on, he's making you work harder than, than you want to go, and that one shot you hit loose is onto it so quick. Two, love. Never shows much emotion, does Lee Chong Wei. Very difficult to know how the man is feeling, whether he's still upbeat or whether he's struggling out on court. Whereas Lin Dan, in contrast, very animated, shares his feelings with the spectators. And that, of course, is why the spectators warm to him. Incredible. Yeah, you don't often see him take a backhand, but just reached up, rolled it cross court. Lin Dan be happy, three quite soft points, he didn't really have to work for them. Another smash, aimed down the backhand side, and another winner. Apologises for the good fortune Five, of the net cord. Two. Saw an injection of pace from Lee Chong Wei. Yeah, good smash from him there, but Two, look how quick he five. came on for the return. No, the Lin Dan was out of position, it had to come back to the net. I think, in a way, I'd like to see the Malaysian doing more of that the quick movement suddenly within the rally, changing the pace certainly works for Lin Dan, it's his trademark. 
Well, absolutely, and, and as we see Lee doing there, it does work from him, but he's just got to insert his presence a little bit more on the game. A little wry smile from Lim Dan because he knows that the final smash probably would have gone long of that back line. Yeah, it was a very flat smash hit from Lee as he was going backwards. Yet another smash down the backhand side. Yeah, he's definitely struggling, especially from Lindan's round the head position. His straight smash, backhand side of Lee. Oh, it's a great rally and this beginning to get a little bit predictable that the winning shot is going to go down the Malaysian backhand side. Six, two. A long, long rally and he waited for that opening. He didn't try and hit it too quickly, just kept pushing and pulling Lee round the court. Finally gets the lift he wanted, picked it out. And Dan just indicating that he wants the court mopped. Look at that 20 winning shots from Lindan directed at his opponent's backhand side. 23 winning shots in total as opposed to nine from Li Chong Wei. And that is a considerable difference. Oh, my word. just casually walked into the shot. Cool as you like. He stayed there, he knew it was coming. Lee saw him, he couldn't believe that he'd stayed at the net. Seven, two. shot as he's on the floor and to no avail hitting wide Oh, 
What a net shot. Three, Lindan coming forward but still couldn't do anything with it. Such was the quality from Lee Chong Wai. Yeah, it had to be tight because Lindan was there. Well, he may have made the error, but there was good signs in that rally from Eight, Lee Chong Wei. The fact that he was prepared to take the initiative. And I guess if there's really one criticism about Lin Dan, it's the fact that he does quite often find it difficult to keep his focus throughout the entirety of a match. Well, he plays at such a high level, and we're sort of coming to expect this now. He just goes for a few points where all of a sudden the pace slows down, there's a couple of errors for him, but you know very soon the danger signals will come and, and up he'll go. Six, eight. We are certainly right about the errors. But it's extraordinary. I mean, the world number one, eight two up, seemed to be cruising. And now all of a sudden he's allowed the Malaysian right back into it. And like we were saying, it's not the winners from Lee. It really is the sort of errors from Lin Dan that's, that's brought Lee right back in this game. Chong Wei has got to be very wary about these cross-court clears or any clear down the backhand side of the left-hander because he's just leaping in the air and then thundering it down the Malaysian's backhand side. Yeah, he's playing to Lin Dan's strengths and his weakness. Lee Chong Wei just saying to the umpire that Lin Dan is tampering with the shuttle, just bending the ends of the feathers back to make the shuttle fly a little bit slower. Play of passion there from Lee Chong Wei. Squeal of delight at the end of the rally. He's missed it. It's just, it's just gone a little bit wild. I don't know if he's if, if physically starting to feel the 
pace of the game. We have to come back and think about the earlier matches in this year's championships. Two of his matches going to three games, but all of his matches lasting at least an hour. Normally, if he's going to make a move, it normally comes around the nine mark. He tries to give himself a little gap. Physically testing rally. Tough, tough rally. Both players moving the distance. In the end, again, these nets are extremely tight. It had to be. Onto the backhand net of Lindan. from Lindan but also more errors than his opponent but at least his winners are more than his errors unlike the Malaysian I think Lee hoping that was going to fall out. Yeah, good oh. call. How many times has Lindan managed to place that shuttle, lifting it right onto that back line? Well, he's certainly done it too many times for it to be luck. time just long of the back line Nine. Oh my goodness it was just long in that rally from the Malaysian. Yeah, he mixed it up. Good change of direction. One to the back end. Next one down the forehand.
forced to lift short by the quality of the net play from Lim Dan. A great spinning net shot. Couldn't lift the shuttle any deeper. Tom Lee just taking the pace off his smash. Not giving Lindan anything to work with. Unbelievable. How on earth did Lee Chong Wei return this one? And how did Lim Dan miss it? Yeah, he never expected that to come back. You can see the disappointment on his face. Trademark winner, backhand side of Lee, yet again. Well, that must be psychological games going on between the two players. One wants to change it, the other doesn't. Change the shuttle. Set from Lindan. Yeah, and he's definitely not having things his own way. Lee's a little bit more purpose about his play. change of direction from Lee really did mean that great angle up high in the forehand cut across the feathers Confidence seems to be growing around the net area. 13. Really prepared to take Lindan on. And now, Minnesota just two points away from this second game. saying no the shuttle's okay and umpire Chris Taylor agreeing with him
and we slammed it in. Yeah, perfect placement from Lee. 13, 10. Clearly in bad misjudgment from Lindan. Error from the world number one. 14, game point 10. And now the first opportunity for the Malaysian to send this the full distance. Coming from the back, 14, 10. on the move, trying to play that next shot, but Lee was there. Second game point. Brave to leave that at the back of the court. Ten, fourteen. And down, you're right. Darren really does impose his character and his presence on court. So often dictates the pace of the game in that. You know, when he wants to towel down, takes his time, even when the umpire doesn't allow him. Ten, seems to walk an awfully long way to go and pick up the shuttle. Third time lucky for Lee Chong Wei. Just wide. That must have missed by a whisker. Desperately close. Both players looking at the line judge. Looking shot from Lindan, he let it drop, normally jumps up in the forehand, took it very late. Maybe on the fourth game point. <laughs> Indeed. And we have a thrilling semi-final on our hands. Lindan slams his racket into his racket bag obvious frustration at allowing his opponent back into the match from that 8-2 advantage 
Lindan just couldn't keep the pressure on. A few unforced errors and it allowed the Malaysian right back into it. And now the Malaysian Li Chong Wei looking full of confidence. Confirmation of the score. One game apiece. Deciding coming up. they are the harder they fall it's crunch time for a place in the super bowl a conference championship doubleheader sponsored by cause tomorrow 8 p.m sky sports extra expand your business with the dell inspire on 6000 it features Intel Centrino mobile technology. It's the perfect combination of Intel's mobile performance and Dell's rock-solid durability. In our January sale, it's now just £539 with free delivery and 15-month McAfee Security Center. And the only way to buy one is direct from Dell. Can I confidently go mobile? One month ago, Nick decided to say yes to everything and anything. He took up jogging, went clubbing, bought a pet, and in the weeks that followed, Nick learned a valuable lesson, that things get a lot more exciting when you say yes. Say yes with a Virgin credit card. 118 24 7 Oh, hello, yes. Um, could you give me the number for a dog training school in Guildford, please? I'd particularly like one that does home visits. I'll text you. Text me? No, could you actually put me straight through? 118 24-7. Whatever you want, just yell. For the rush, for the challenge, for the action. To help, to protect, to save. For the places, for the people, for the laughs with compassion, with courage, with confidence, as a unit, as a team, through it all together, armoured infantry, forward as one. Hello? I've got Doug on line one. Put him through. Duck! Duck! It's Doug! What's the matter? I think I've done something to the telly! What do you mean, something? The blue screen with the words on it, it's gone all different. Right. Yes, that's because the Sky Guide's been improved, Dog. That'll be brilliant. When it, Duck? Yes, Dog. Coming soon. The new upgraded program guide makes Sky simple. It's your Sky. What do you want to watch? So, Hutch, do you got any more questions? Yeah, well, uh, sure. We could... What's your sign? Ben Stiller. Owen Wilson. No! Starsky and Hutch, tonight at 8 and 9 on Sky Movies. Welcome back. Crowd of the NIA being treated to a fascinating men's singles semi final between Lin Dan and Li Chong Wei. Just waiting to come back out for the deciding game. Sell out today, as it is tomorrow. It's a finals day at the All England Championships. It's at 12.30 for the best seat in the house. So here I am here on Sky Sports 3. Ems and Robertson, of course, in action tomorrow. We'll find out who they play uh, later on this evening. Let's head back to Birmingham and rejoin our commentary team for this deciding game. Darren and Jill. Well, the world number one, Lin Dan from China, must be wondering what on earth went wrong. Seemed to be cruising a game and eight two up, and then it all went so horribly wrong for him. But all credit to Li Chong Wei of Malaysia because he stuck to his resolve. And Darren, it was very interesting in the five-minute break. 
Lin Dan sitting talking to his coach, his coach hardly speaking to him at all, just a couple of quick pointers, whereas Lee Chong Wei, his coach, Lee Mao, was very animated in giving him lots of instructions. I just wonder whether too many instructions sometimes can be a little confusing. I suppose it depends on the character of the player. Yeah, absolutely. I think Lin Dan will be very, very disappointed. Games. He was in control. He was a set, a game, an 8-2 up. And all of a sudden, he sort of the he put the brakes on, and then Lee turned it around and started to get into the game and played very well. And I think he worked Lin Dan harder than he wanted to be worked. Incredible. What a net exchange. One oh, net cord. No. I'll just hit a net cord back. Brilliant. Well, as with his four previous matches, Lindan another match has gone past the hour mark it's five hours 43 minutes he's played in these championships already a superb shot from Lee his confidence is growing you can see he's up in the place he's working Lindan so hard is again the winning smash down the backhand side of the Malaysian he was waiting for that one poised up in his forehand I'm really surprised that the Malaysian hasn't started looking for that smash down the backhand side I suppose if he does that then he leaves his forehand exposed yeah, he'll, be, he'll be pleased that he got through the second game things turned his way it looks like he's, he's just not the edge off Lindan, not quite as explosive as what it was in the first game and a half. Chinese coach looking a little bit concerned at the moment. Again, such a hard rally physically. Yeah, just not quite the length on the. Cross court clear, but he got away with it. Lindan pulling it just wide. 
just wonder if that's a, a sign that he's beginning to lose his patience. Yeah, I think so. He, Lee was pushing him so hard, DB was forcing him to take it round the head. He goes right shot, clear winner, but just missing the line. Didn't see him miss any of them in the first game. effort to get forward to the net as early as possible just guiding the shuttle cross court he struggled in the second half of the second game when he was coming into the net he missed quite a few of them just because he was a, an ounce off his pace Absolutely brilliant. The right play from Lindam went for the knockoff. Forward won the point. Lee quick enough to get back and react. And the Malaysian really beginning to stamp his authority on this match. Interesting thing, Darren, when you look at the Malaysian's previous matches, the two times he has gone to three games so far in the tournament, in the second round against Bjorn Jopin of, of Germany, and also in the quarterfinal against the holder Chen Hong from China. In the deciding game, he's won the first match 15 3, and then the quarterfinal 15 2. So his physical strength in the third and deciding game has been absolutely decisive. Yeah, and he started very, very well. Looks confident. I'm sure in a five-minute break, they'd have been saying, push the pace, keep the rallies going. You've knocked the edge off him. Yes, beautiful placement. Yeah, Lindan smashing. Not his normal, wasn't quite in position. What a defence, cross-court, finding the gap. State Lin Dan desperately needs some more points before they change ends. First player to eight points changes ends in this deciding game. But he's not able to play himself into this game. No, he's not. You know, we're used to seeing him explosive movements. Three or four points where he's dictating, but at the moment he's having to try and retrieve. He changes ends with the advantage. 8-1 in this deciding game. So normally Lindan's so good at that. 
He's just half a yard slower. Just proves the fact you can't afford to get complacent in a match. We really did think he was cruising through it at 8-2 up in that second game. Tried a couple of really fancy shots. They didn't work and now look what's happened. He's 8-1 down in the decider. Doesn't seem to be able to regain his form. And the Chinese number one is in all sorts of trouble. Now he has more errors than winners. What a reversal. One, eight. Straight down the line. Yeah, he needed that. Forced himself this time just to get behind the shuttle. Good accuracy. It was a good shot, but you do have to question why Lee Chong Wai was clearing the cross court. Absolutely. It's not been in his favour when he's done that, but as we see there, he went out the forehand side of Lin Dan. And again, great defence from the forehand. Difficult shot to do. Defence from Lin Dan, full stretch, somehow got his racket on it. Lee wasn't expecting that back. up towards the lights. Eight, two. not going to give it up. Oh, it's landed in. Three, eight. Misjudgment followed by an unforced error. Giving Lindan some encouragement. Two easy points. Oh, but that's extraordinary. What deception overhead. Lindan's got to be one of the fastest players in the world, and he was just left standing. Absolutely. Very rarely you see Lindan get called out. Oh. 
Well, he really has bided his time, has Lee Chong Wei. But when he does inject pace, it really is devastating. Missed it. What a golden opportunity. Yeah, we disappointed with that. That was a one. Lindan doing well to get it back. Just put too much on the cut. And the umpire allowing the players off court while the court is mopped. Points one from Eris. Sixty-one percent. Pointed out by Darren Hall earlier on in the match that Lee Chong Wei does wait for his opponent to make an awful lot of errors or force him into error. Landed on the line. Nine four. Not that time. This time Lin Dan at the net, just holding, keeping Lee guessing which way. Oh, that's brilliant. One of the rare smashes of the one the rally for Lin Dan that has directed down his opponent's forehand side. Just sent it sense it's a crucial phase in this match. Oh. Yep, either Lin Dan is gonna come right back into this. Six, nine. Yeah, it's given him some encouragement. Clever variation on the downward shot from Lee Chong Wei. Nine, really a six. half smash there, Darren. Yeah, it was clever placing. He didn't give him any angles to work with, just down the centre of the court. Good patient rally once more from Lee Chong Wei. 
Yeah, another physical Ten, rally. Six. This stage in the game. Tough, tough rallies. And then Don asking the umpire if he can tell down. And Chris Taylor saying no. Got to play on. Ten, six. Again, Lindan refused to go off and tell down. Obviously, the umpire feels that it's a tactical ploy. Yeah, set up a good flick deep into the backhand, causing Lindan taking it late, forcing him to hit a short lift. Great straight smash, though. Judgment. He knew immediately that the lift was going to go long of that back line. Mate, well, that was desperately close. Ah! <laughs> Lee regains the service quickly. No damage done. from the Malaysian Six, uh, that's thinking that the shuttle may uh, fall on wide of the court <laughs> yes Lindan totally deceived coming forward and the Malaysian just flicking the shuttle over his head from Lee. He's gone down the backhand side of Lindan many times. Lindan full stretch. Up it goes again. This time changes it. Superb smash.
missed it. Yeah, right shot, it was there. There's the gap. Pushed it wide. to react now otherwise it's going to be too late oh cool good leech on way absolutely furious Judge is in the best position to see. Oh. A little bit nervy times for Lee. One line caught, one unforced error. Just giving Lynn down that little bit of hope. Oh, oh my word. I was going to say what a brilliant shot, but it's called out by the line judge. Lynn Dan totally deceived. Yeah, brilliant play by 13, Lee. Nine. He's got to be confident. On that shot, it's a hundred percent commitment. And Dan immediately turning and looking at the umpire, saying, "Did he hit the shuttle before it had crossed the net?" the one how on earth did the Malaysian get that back both players must be extremely tired it's been a long game and to produce quality and the length of rally it's incredible well I'm not surprised if they're tired an hour and 27 minutes already Darren this match in progress Another one landing in, another misjudgment from Lee Chong Wei. Yeah, he's often been hesitating at the back and then hitting the shuttle. This time he left it. Definitely in. Thirteen down. Eleven, now 13. just two points in it. No, 
now just the one. We always said Lindan was good at the big points. And at the moment, he's got himself so back into this. That's going to go long. And he's back level. Refusing to change the shuttle. Oh, goodness me. Move long of the back line. Gosh, that was close. Don't think it was a correct call, though, by the line judge. John Way will be mightily relieved to progress from 13 to the match point. Everything non stop smashing in the end, just run out of ideas. 13, 14. in this deciding game one eight down at the change of ends six thirteen down and now it's 14 all Lindan wishes to change the shuttle. Setting to 17 points. Devastating today. He waited for his opportunity. Another long rally. Now 
umpire Chris Taylor telling Mendan to stay on court. Having saved a match point, 14-13. Now Lindan has a match point of his own. His first match point after an hour and 35 minutes. Acknowledging the crowd. Well, who would have predicted that? The final rally went on and on, and the fitness in the end, Lee Chong Wei almost at a walk and just couldn't push himself to get across court and retrieve the final block which was played to perfection from Lindan wonderful celebrations confirmation of the score 15-9 10-15, 17-14, and he's through to his third final. February on Sky Sports. Live cricket. Oh, magnificent. Absolutely brilliant. The Davis Cup first round at Rotterdam. Just perfect. European golf. What a bonus. The US Tour plus Accenture match play. And the Guinness Premiership and Super 14s. Roll the Enjoy the ride. It's only a car. A car is a car is a car. With nuts and bolts and leather and cogs and steel and wood and glass intelligent wipers and head-up displays alloy and oil sensors and sound digital mapping and satellite tracking twists and turns and smiles and miles infrared eyes 
and self-trying brakes and one little key. A car. It's only a car. Inside the Mail on Sunday, this weekend and next. A unique Art Garfunkel Collector's Edition double album. Don't miss disc one of this brilliant Garfunkel double CD. Free inside tomorrow's Mail on Sunday. After brushing and flossing, Sarah assumed her mouth was clean until she tried alcohol-free dental pH, which she found surprisingly smooth and fresh tasting. Dental pH was specially developed to help fight bad breath, plaque and gum disease. Its antibacterial formula kills bacteria, then lifts and reveals it along with food and other particles so effectively you'll actually see what's removed in the sink. Wow! There's no other mouthwash quite like dental pH. For a long-lasting freshness you've never tasted before. Vanessa, I don't know if I can explain to you in words what's happening to me. What'd they do? Refuse to stop. Any chance they're just civilians trying to get away from the fighting? The tragedy here is we're savages. We're thrilled to kill each other. Fire! We're monsters. There's a little girl in the back! What do we do? And war is what unmasks us. Over there, new frontline drama, Tuesday at 10 on Sky One. One of the most remarkable matches you're ever likely to see on a badminton court. The world number one, Lin Dan, eventually overcoming Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia. 17-14 in the deciding game. It first went one way, then the other, and finished with Dan. Celebrating like is rarely seen on a court at the NIA in Birmingham, but it's an indication of just what it means to make the final of the men's singles for the third time, Lin Dan hoping to pick up his second title, won it back in 2004. And this final rally yeah! is an indication of how the whole match was played. Quite a remarkable win for Lin Dan in the end. And, uh, uh, Joe Davis and Simon Archer are watching the studio with enthralled as I'm sure you were at home. Uh, Simon, you can be forgiven. You got the wrong <laughs> man. The prediction was wrong, but yeah. what an incredible match. Yeah, my prediction wrong. Um, I thought Lee Chong Wei was going to win it, and, he, and in that third game, he looked like he was going to, but uh, he obviously just didn't fancy it at the end. And uh, <laughs> right, but, yeah. uh, One of the best matches I've ever seen. Um, yeah, that really will be remembered uh, for one of the matches of this tournament as well. It, it did superb. turn several times, didn't it, Joan? It, it looked at, at one stage as if, if, if Lin Dan was just going to run away with it. Well, yeah, winning the first game so easily and then 8-2 up in the second end and almost nonchalant in how he played, really. Um, such skill and, and he was just hitting the angles and hitting the line so perfectly and just making Lee Chong Wei look a little bit ordinary. He's just so quick, quickly on to retrieving that shot. You see, he's just on his base the whole, the whole time. It's the court like a postage stamp sometimes, the way he covers it. But he's always retrieving the shot, and one of his main assets is his cross-court drop, you see here, and then that, just waiting. I mean, Lee Chan Wei is so deceptive, but he just stood at the net and waited for that and killed that it That also off. illustrates, the, the, I guess, the, the, the vision, as we suggest, of of the top players. Yeah, I think Lin Dan at the, at the start of this match, he was reading the game so well, he knew exactly what Lee Chong Wei was going was gonna to do, knew where he was going to hit the shot and, and he moved be almost before Lee Chong Wei had hit the shot. Uh, as you saw in that last rally, he, you know, he even waited at the net for one of them and, and gave his <laughs> opponent a stare afterwards and uh, almost a little bit too arrogant because that's when the match just started to turn as well. It had everything and uh, some, I, I, I know that these shuttlecocks are hit at 150 miles an hour sometimes off the racket. Uh, but it's also a game of touch, isn't it? And there's a couple of examples of, of some incredible soft hands. Yeah, these guys have got everything. Skill, power. I mean, you can see Lin Dan missing that one, but the, the touch at the net here by Lee Chong Wei, twice you've seen get a tumble net shot back and return it himself with, a, with another tight net shot. And uh, that skill level really is only done by the sort of top four or five players in the world. 
And so it went down to the wire, Joe, and, and, and what, what a finish. It looks as if Lee Chong Wei would, had, had done enough in, in the final game, but Lin Dan just refused to, to be beaten and, and quite inspirational at the end. Exactly. I think Lee Chong Wei got a little bit tight in, towards the end as well. And uh, he just, Lin Dan just seemed to just find something within himself to go up that gear. I think there was a little bit of needle in the match, obviously, with uh, Lee Chong Wei, you know, um, telling the umpire about Lin Dan messing about with the shuttles. And I think uh, Lin Dan really didn't want him to win. You can see it meant everything to him, you can see, and look at the retrieval on this. It's absolutely fantastic. Lindan just, as I said before, covers the court so well. I think that was a big turning point, obviously, in the, in the setting there, because I think Lee Chung Wei thought he was going to win that point mm. when, he, yeah. when he picked off the, the knockoff at the net. And, uh, but Lindan, that's why he's world number one. He never gave up in that match, and uh, he came back, and you know, he just, just showed why he's world number one. And still the man to beat uh, tomorrow on finals day is up against uh, Lee Hyun Il, who beat Peter Gader a little bit earlier on. Also earlier on today, on courts, Nathan Robertson and Gail Ems, the defending champions, were up against the world champions in the form of uh, Nova Wudianto and Lilian Natsius. Uh, went well in the uh, first game, Nathan and Gail winning it to 15-10. Uh, we pick it up at uh, Nathan and Gail being 7-4 up in the second. Here's what happened.